Welcome to the second of six videos from the Roman Army UW 2021 lecture on military organization. In this second video, a very short one, I'm just going to say a few things about the organization of auxiliary units um, during the Imperial era. It'll be something that gives me great joy. Okay, I'll put this away. My face. All right. I'm on a thing. Okay, military organizations. This is um, well, not when Pulo was around. There were auxiliaries and allies who helped Rome for most of its existence. You can go back to the beginning, uh, into the early Republic or the mid-Republic. Um, Hannibal was around. Um, there were Italian allies contributing forces in various capacities. So they'd, they'd always use allies. And it's only in the um, Imperial era when we have emperors, Augustus, and onwards possibly early we get the auxiliary units that uh, are pretty well documented in inscriptions and various other things um, throughout. Okay, I realize that my face is gone, but that doesn't matter. I'll just do a quick modification while I'm recording the video. Okay, so uh, their organization, they are much smaller than the legions, okay. Auxiliaries is from Latin auxilia. Essentially, it's just helpers, which is what they are. So they help the legions, although in reality they do much more than just help. They play a significant part in many capacities. There are many different types of auxiliary units. They come in various shapes and sizes, and these are all approximate so that you can get slightly more exact numbers like the ones for legions, the 5,240. So there is something, uh, and remember too that there are two main distinctions. There are the ally, which are the cavalry ones fighting on horseback, and then there are the cortes, the infantry fighting on foot. There's also something called a mounted cohort, which is a bit of a combination of the two. Now, uh, if we take the ally, cavalry, infantry cohortes, and the mounted cohorts, in, in turn, they're each divided into two numerical sizes. There's the quingenarian, which number about 500 or so, okay? And then there's the miliarian, which number about 1,000 or so soldiers in each unit. And then there are smaller um, subdivisions after that, but we won't get into them. Now, there are, during the Imperial era, there are approximately um, the same number of auxiliary soldiers uh, in the Roman Empire as there were legionary soldiers, but there are or there were far more auxiliary units than there were legions, because if you have about 5,000 men in a legion, you need several more 500 to 1,000 strong um, auxiliary units to get up to 5,000. And I should say too, another matter with these auxiliary units, that the, the quingenarian ones, the 500 ones, were much, much more numerous than the ones that had 1,000 soldiers. Now, amongst the auxiliaries, uh, they had many different names, and some of them had different um, you could say skills or fighting styles or archers, and again, cavalry. The cavalry ones seem to have been maybe slightly better paid, uh, slightly more prestigious at least. They were in general, uh, in general under a prefect or a tribune, depending on circumstances. And then there were decurions, who were sort of like the sergeants in the, um, the cavalry units, and then centurions in the um, auxiliary cohorts. Uh, and then there was also another group kind of related to this called the Numeri or ethnic units. They're a bit fuzzy, possibly with 500,000 strong, but maybe more non-Roman in character, whatever that means, uh, too complicated to get into here um, than the auxiliaries, possibly a later edition. The only other thing I'm going to say about all these numbers of soldiers, these are also called paper strengths. And when I say paper strengths, what I mean to say is, this is how many soldiers they should have. This is the capacity per unit but that doesn't mean that this is necessarily the number of soldiers they did have because of birth, deaths, well, less births than legions, but new recruits, deaths, injuries, whatever possibilities, um, they were probably never quite at that level, and these are things we'll get into in another point. Okay, so so ends second video on auxiliaries.